Hi everybody, welcome to another lesson. I'm going to be talking about Motivator in Zoho CRM. If you're not familiar with where I'm at, you could go ahead and go to your Zoho CRM, click on Setup, and then go down to Motivator. Let's just hop right into it. You can access Motivator, and what Motivator is, it's a way to kind of gamify, gamify the activities your employees have to do on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So it kind of give them goals, and help them work towards those goals, kind of make it a little bit more fun. It's great for sales teams and the like. Okay, so you could go over to KPIs. So these are going to be your indicators. So whenever you um, create a game or whatever you want to do in Motivator, you first need a KPI. So a KPI is just goals that your employees are trying to reach. So, for instance, if this is going to be Create leads, okay? So you really want your <clears throat> your staff to go ahead and create leads or your employees or the customers. You can do that with this module. You could actually select any module within that Zoho CRM there. However, I'm going to stick with that leads there. Create time period in that in the period, okay? First visit in the period, you can specify how you want to structure this, but I just want them to go about creating the leads, okay? You can create um, conditions where you know if that lead only if if whatever you're selling to them only has a revenue of x amount you can configure that here and then it has to be less than or, or greater than or equal to that annual revenue if not it doesn't count towards this goal but i'm just going to keep it with all records you can set different point scoring per record i'm a big fan of the nba so i'm going to switch this to two points Per record, you could also use the value of a field as points. So if you want to use the annual the annual revenue uh, um, as your point system itself, so whoever generates the most leads with the most revenue would do the best, you can do this here as well. Point recipient, I just want that to go to lead owner. You could also do created by and modified by. So let's go ahead and save. So we have our KPI, so create leads. You can see I have 38 leads this month. This is kind of a cheat, though, because most of those are the sample leads, okay? So, let's go ahead and go back to our home and see what else there is, okay? There's targets, games, dashboards, teams, and TV channels. We talked about KPIs. Now let's set up a target, okay? So let's say I want um, these leads um, to have... Uh, have a contact, okay? So if we're going to, um, we're going to do our best to meet with these leads, okay? And when we do so, it's going, we're going to give more points. So we're going to select a time period. I want all of our leads met with within the month, and this is going to be an individual target, and we're going to give them a badge of level two, okay? So I want them, actually, let's, let's rename this, create 100 leads, okay? Set target for individual users, I'm just going to select myself, to have 100 points, okay? So that means 50 leads, right? I have two point system, so this will actually be create 50 leads. This is the target, show the target based on organization hierarchy preference, okay? I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to really want myself to create 50 leads on a month-to-month -month basis, and that's gonna be 100 points, okay? And if I do, I get a level two badge, and we've created our target. All right, let's go back to home. So we've covered what a KPI is, we've covered what a target is, now let's talk about games. Okay, so what you can do is create a game between individuals, um, teams, you can, you can do all that fun stuff. So most leads created, we could go ahead and select that KPI we already created, so create leads. We can select individual or team. If you do select team though, you have to have already created teams in this module right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it with individual. I can't quite create the game though because I am the only individual in my organization as of now. You set the time period for this game. You can repeat this game every day, week, or month. And then you can select viewers that aren't a part of the game so that they could still like view and see how the game is going for everyone involved. Okay, and that's how you go ahead and create a game. So we've talked about KPIs, targets, and games. Let's go ahead and talk about 
and we talked about teams. All you do to create a team is you come over to this team module, you create a team, you give a team name, and then you add your users, and then you can add a logo if you'd like, and then a team lead, so if you have like a sales manager. Let's talk about TV channels. A TV channel is where you could kind of customize a cool view if you have you know TVs in the office or whatever that you'd like to stream this game to so that people could kind of follow along. Basically all you do is select your KPI, um, the user, select your user, you select your period, your time period, let's say this week, and then you could um, go by KPI, okay, and then you can see I've created 12 leads this week, okay. You can have multiple pages though, as you see here, and then this is where you can alternate how often you wanna see those pages. You can see all your pages on the right-hand side here. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about achievements. These are the five trophies that are there, and you can see there's no trophies found, okay? So, but these are the, by default, these are the badges, or sorry, the trophies given to me. I have earned zero trophies. I haven't done that well. Okay, but that's how you configure Zoho Motivator in your Zoho CRM. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next